Borderline Mom here. Haven't done a video in a few days. I've just been pretty busy packing. Um, two weeks to move. <laughs> Yay! Uh, I will be happy, though. I'll have a better kitchen for cooking <laughs> videos. And I will have better internet at my mom's, which will be nice. Um, right now, we are on a uh, satellite. It stinks. Anytime you can have a really blustery day or, you know, a lovely just downpour of rain and the signal goes, bye bye. And then, of course, it's just like, you know, your unlimited data. You get so much of the nice high speed data. And when you run out of that, it slows down, which is just a pain. <clears throat> but today I'm in my dining room, my lovely dining room. You can see um, that's my lovely uh, laundry pile there, the trash bags and stuff on top. I have to get to that. Uh, hopefully I'll be doing it tomorrow. If not, I'll probably end up doing it. Friday. Fingers crossed. But I figure today, um, it's one of those days, it's been busy. Um, as I uh, mentioned before, my husband and I are sharing one vehicle. So I have to drive an hour to pick him up and then an hour to get home. Oh, thank you, boo. That's my good baby. So that's mm, takes up a lot of time, um, especially when I have to be there. At, I have to be there to pick him up at eight, so I have to leave at seven. The boys don't get home from school until four, well, about four, between four and four thirty ish, depending on how much trouble there is on the bus. <laughs> But it's usually around 4, 4.15. Not that bad. But then it takes them, you know, they got to do their homework. They've got to wind down from the exciting day. Ugh. So I usually start dinner about 5 o'clock. And that gives... Yes. And that gives me time to cook... Thank you. Yeah, Hunter has been trying to help me pack. He's wandering around down in here. Um, you can't see. See, there he is. Say hi. You say hi. Oh, <laughs> run to mama. <laughs> okay, you want to come up and say hi? He likes saying hi. <laughs> you like to say hi to the people. <laughs> Yeah, today was fun. We had a wick visit um, this morning. Um, in order to get my wick, I had to go all the way to Hanover, which is fine. It's not that bad. I knew exactly where it was. So I did not. Oh, thank you. Yes, that's Mummy's uh, essential oils. We're going to keep those. Oh, Mummy loves using those for just relaxing. Uh, um, I want to keep those out. No, 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 I don't need that. I pack, he unpacks. But I figure today, tonight's dinner is, um, I'm just going to give some nice helpful tips, you know, on how it, what? On things I do to help me deal with my mental health and my busy life. I mean, if anything, it's new. Um, I have days where I don't want to do anything at all. And then I've got days where I just want to do everything in the world. So I try to take advantage of that. Um, tonight's dinner, I do suggest for your freezer, is getting a few um, family dinners. Um, what? 
frozen. I mean, you can cook them. You can have, I know, I've seen uh, several people on YouTube do it. You cook them, you can cook like four or five, however many meals all in one day and then freeze them. Or I know there's one person um, I saw that I loved the idea. <clears throat> you put all of your dinner in like the plastic baggies. You know, your chicken, your marinade, and all that good stuff. You just put all of it, your meat, veggies, everything in the baggie. You seal up the baggie without the air. You gotta get the air out. And then you freeze it. And then you take it out and put it in the crock pot for the day. Oh my god, I love that. Um, or... If you don't, you know, if you forget, you've got meals like these. <laughs> it is a, uh, it's the banquet family size dinner. It's the meat only. Um, they have meatballs. Um, I do get the meatballs to go in my spaghetti. What? Because that is the only meatballs my husband can eat without them going right through them. Um, I don't know what it is. It's something about the recipe. Uh, he, oh, I'd say about five years ago, he had his gallbladder removed. So he has to be somewhat careful of what he eats. Not all. Um, or he'll pay the price. Sometimes it's worth the price to him. But when it comes to meatballs, no. We found the, not when there is, not when there is something that, you know, he can get away without having to. No, down, down, go play, go play. It's getting time for food, I think. I don't have any of the snacks right here. Um, it's all right. He'll be fine. So I do. I do suggest uh, for those days that you don't feel like cooking, you have a freezer meal on hand. That way, you just pop it in the microwave, push a couple buttons, and pop, oh, dinner's done. Yeah. That's always good. <laughs> um, so that's kind of what I'm doing today. Um, I also, um, I have two other strategies that I use for when, you know, for when I don't have the energy. Um, as you can see, I have a nice, lovely, you know, matching outfit and pants. <laughs> well, shorts. Um, I was wearing that lovely brown, um, jacket, uh, vest, jacket vest earlier, but, um, hold on one minute here, please. There. Okay. That's good. Sorry. I had to pause the video so I could go get somebody to snack. Here you go, honey. Num nums. Okay, um, organizing. Well, I guess more like planning slash organizing. It kind of all works together. And I'm going to show you how to do, um, the two things that I do to get me through. Um, <clears throat> one, I do meal plan. Uh, which is, you know, really beneficial is it's, especially when you're busy or, you know, you're forgetful or like me, it's just, you don't have the time or the capacity to think, what am I going to do for dinner? What am I going to do for dinner? What am I going to do for dinner? So I will show you how I do that. First, um, I have basically four things. 
Well, four, technically five things, I guess. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can always go play. You can always go down from what I have. I have, this is a um, boogie board. Basically, it's really cool. You, I don't want your food. You can basically write on it yeah, with a special pencil, and when you're done, you push the button, and it just goes blank. So, I love the boogie board. What? This one actually came from um, Goochlin uh, Cares Thrift Store, which is called the Clothes Closet. <laughs> So, this is second hand. But I'm pretty sure you can find them relatively inexpensive. Hunter. No, look. Okay, honey, give me your food and run off. That's fine. I don't get them. I'm going to adjust. Okay. The other thing you will. The other thing you will need, um, if you don't have a boogie board, you can always just use a notebook. So that's what I do. Um, and of course, you need your trusty calendar. As you can see, mine is pretty busy. <laughs> so it, yeah. But, um, basically, I look at my calendar, I see what I have going on for the day, and I am just going to do this week, I'm going to finish off this week, and I'm going to do next week, um, right here with you to show you what I do. But, um, once... And, well, when I get into my mom's house, I'll be doing this there. But for this month, it's things have just been a little hectic. Um, also, I have a meal planning app on my laptop. Volume down, please, and thank you. <clears throat> um, if you have, if you can get it. It's an Apple only app, which really frustrates me. It's Meals Up. It is free. You can plan for the entire month. I am trying to find another app like that I can use uh, with Google Play. So far, no luck. I do have um, an app uh, where I can um, basically plan it week by week by week by week by week, and then I can name the weeks and everything, but so that's, it's a little bit more time consuming than my meal shop, which is, so, but basically, um, First, I will take an inventory of what I have in my freezer, meat-wise. So, so, you see here, I've got everything written down. Um, now, a lot of people tell you when they meal plan, you plan the meals and then you shop. Well, I'm on a budget. So... I go to the store, I find the cheapest meat there is, or I get my meat from the food pantry. So, I plan my meals around that. I do the shop, the meat shopping first. Then, I plan the meals. 
So the food I got from the food pantry, you know, this month will be in the freezer for next month. But sometimes I might break into it and use it if it's something really special that I like. <sighs> um, so, and you always want to have those backup dinners, those backup, you know, frozen dinners for when you don't feel like cooking. That is, you know, a big thing. Hey, Mama. Yeah. Can I go to the movie theater today? No. Hi, my name is Dean. I just got here. Yes, um, but there's actually a lot to it here. Okay. This is a giant box. Yes, that is a giant box. But if you just want to start, you take your sheet of paper, you write down your days. Like, we are going to start on Thursday the 22nd. So, we do Thursday, we have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, <coughs> uh, here we go. Monday, Tuesday, what? It's all right. Tuesday. I don't know where it is. Give me that. You are not running off with it. I need it. All right, calm down. Okay, it's Tuesday. It's Wednesday. Hi. Thursday, and uh, we're gonna do till Friday because um, on the first I will get food stamps again and I will go from there but writing down all of that now honey I need the space please okay we'll just do this around the child you got to adapt um now and then of course I've got to keep in mind the days my husband is home Versus the days he's not going to be home. Um, he's a bit of a picky eater. <laughs> what is wrong? One, the TV is not working. Two, this isn't cutting off. <sighs> Give me a little bit and I will get I it. I accidentally went down. I went down and went all the way down to 62. And then it stopped. Oh. Yeah, we're having a problem with direct TV. What? Is it direct TV? No. Dish. Dish. We have dish. But so looking at it Thursday. Um, I have an appointment with Alexis. So that means it'll be uh James will be working. He'll get off at eight. So, I will need a nice, quick dinner for that day. So, I scan what I have. Um, tomorrow! Mama! What? I keep trying to put a long cut on. I will fix it in a little bit. Thank you. This is a Walmart card. Yes. I have turkey loins, popcorn chickens, cooked chicken, 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 lots of chicken. So I think tomorrow night's dinner should probably be, uh, we'll go with chicken nuggets and mac and cheese. So we do... This is right. I am sorry. I did not mean to do that. What's it? Uh, where's uh, the thing to write? I'm gonna do no, it for you. No, I let me do this, please. It's right there. Okay, guys. I'm not writing it on that. I am writing it here, <laughs> and then when I'm done with this, I put it into the app. Okay, mm -hmm. we'll do chicken nuggets. <laughs> And in cheese, because I have plenty of that. I've got like seven boxes left. 
All right, why don't you two play with Hunter? <sighs> All right, and then ah. well, what? It should take no more than five minutes to complete. It takes like well. thirty minutes. Okay, Friday now. Starting Friday, hubby will be on vacation for moving. Ah. Packing give you a hug. Mm -mm. Why well, you gotta watch where you're going. And okay, can you please go? This is a keychain. Yes, I love you. Dang! So. <sighs> okay. so I'm thinking Friday I won't have to go pick him up, but the boys will be home. I am gonna leave the whole video and this it's food. It's called cereal, baby. Mm. Yes. <clears throat> so I think I will go with um what Friday. How busy will we be? Oh yeah. Luckily, um oh, and the twenty sixth which is this coming Sunday, will be Jace's birthday. So I think we're going to try and do something special for that. So I that's going to be an open or out, depending. So I think Friday. Oh. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> A little tired there. Um, I think we will go with a turkey loin on Friday. So that's what I have. So I write it down. Um, with turkey loin that we decide whatever I want. We've got uh, plenty of mashed potatoes. Um... Saturday is Ghost Adventures Day, so that one's really going to be fun. Um, and I think I am going to go for then. I think I will actually go for um, what we call popcorn chicken bowls. Uh, Banquet has a lovely um, bag of popcorn chicken at Walmart, and I think for us it's about $4 for the bag. <laughs> and you basically, you make mashed potatoes, then you put on some corn, and then some gravy, and you can add cheese if you want, and then your popcorn, your popcorn chicken on top. It's a KFC bowl. <gasps> Do it yourself. Mm, that will be perfect for Ghost Adventures Saturday. So... Oopsie, we do pop holes. I love those. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Ooh, that's going to be fun with him being home. That means we're probably not going to be doing the, um, fish sticks. Because I don't have enough fish sticks for him. Ooh. Um, we do have two pounds of hamburger, so I could do the lasagna ham, um, hamburger helper for him. I do have, I do, but occasionally I will buy regular hamburger helper boxes. Uh, there is like two flavors that my husband will eat. Cheesy Italian shells and the lasagna. Those are the only flavors he eats. So, that'll be... Ugh. Now, Mondays, <clears throat> I usually have um, leftovers. However, hubby doesn't eat leftovers, so that's kind of out the door again. Um, now, what am I doing Monday? Oh, that's Memorial Day. Um, hmm. 
no. I'll leave that one open for now. Now, Tuesday is normally, we, on Tuesdays, we either have Taco Tuesday, which we just had, or we have um, pasta. Now, I think, I don't have meatballs. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. So, I think Tuesday, I think we'll take the chicken patties with the mozzarella cheese I just got from Wick and add, you know, just some spaghetti or for him, it'll probably be his fettuccine. And we can have chicken parm. That'll be really good. I know he'll, uh, James will love that. Now, Wednesday. Oh, yeah, and that'll be a nice quick dinner anyway, because I've got to go to the pediatrician. Ooh. Okay, now, Wednesday, the 29th. Um, hmm. Since he'll be home, I don't have to go get him. Oh, how about, you know, we'll be busy moving. You know, since we just had chicken, maybe we'll go with the, I think we'll go with the pork shoulder. Yeah. Make a nice good old pork roast. That'll be good. And if I want, I can put that in my uh, lovely little um, Instapot back there. You can see under the striped towel. And yes, uh, that was a Christmas gift. And the lovely, uh, beside it, we have the, what is it, the Cuisinart um, ice cream maker, which we got at Clothes Closet, <laughs> which was really nice. Um, hmm. so, and that's pretty much how I do my meal planning. Um, now, Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday are pretty much going to be days we're going to be cleaning. Ooh. Okay. So, I think we're probably just going to deal with... You know, I'll just, Thursday, I'll just throw in another. I'll just do the turkey lunch. You know what? Thursday, we will do. <laughs> yes, it's about dinner time. Thursday, um, we'll just do the other turkey line. No, I mean, we'll do hamburger helper. Yeah. So, I can do the hamburger helper. And then Friday, which will be our last dinner in this house, I can make it a really nice one, and we'll do a whole chicken. See? And now I have a week and a half worth of meals planned out. And I've still got, you know, leftover stuff if I need it, which is really nice. So, now, plan number two. You know, I'll go over that one at a later date. But I do know planning out your monthly menu or even or even just a weekly menu can help a lot. It takes a lot of the stress out of the day of, you know, of, you know, wondering what am I going to fix for dinner? What do, Okay, let's see. What do we got? Oh, we don't want that. No, don't want that. Don't want that. But if you have a go-to plan, one, you can motivate yourself. It's like, well, I've already planned it. So, you know, i got to go through with it. Uh, you know, or you go to the, it's also the, you know, oh, I don't want to do it. Oh, what am I going to do for dinner? Oh, let's just stop and get this. 
Wait, no, I got something planned ready at home, so yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. Well, you get the picture. But it does help a lot. So, I really hope this helps at least some of you. Uh, I will see you later. This is Borderline Mom signing off. And we'll catch you later. Bye.